McGalvin, manager there, winning manager in the end, but what a battle, a bit of a marathon. Yeah, I, I think you know we suffered a little bit of a hangover with the lads from the Dublin uh, weekend. You could see it out there tonight. It wouldn't have been, you know, wouldn't have been my choice as a manager to play guys three days afterwards. But anyway, listen, we're, we're in the next round, and that's all that matters. It was a heck of a battle, and I don't think you were uh, ahead until right at the end. No, I, th I think the first time they hit the to, to lead was when um, Nesty Smith hit the hit the free at the end. Uh, well, listen, we've had our heart takes with this team. You know, we've been beaten in county finals with late goals, so. All we're trying to do is keep going to the last minute. We did it today. Performance wasn't great, but listen, we'll, we'll worry about that the next day. And who popped up near the end? Just before you got the winner, very important score. A Meath man all the way from the back? Yeah, a Meath man all the way from the back. And we're shouting, give it to one of the shooters, and he goes off the outside of his boots. So, listen, Anthony was great. He settled in well with us, and you know, he's a good lad. He's a Plunkett's man now. What were you thinking in the first half? And even after one minute, they get a goal and then they get another two goals. Yeah, listen, you can't panic. The older you get, the longer you watch this game. It, 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 it's, you know, you, you just can't panic. We have decent forwards, we have good footballers and we just, you know, for, for us, we just stay in the game as long as we can.